Okay, I'm going to show another really cool feature of the ProEFI Logger Suite here. Um, this is uh, it's handy for doing a lot of different tables, but this one's going to show you how to calibrate a mass airflow sensor really quickly. Once you have all the data entered into the ECU, you know your displacement size, all the correct information for your injectors, things like that. And let's say you go to a bigger intake pipe and you don't know what the airflow calculation is going to be. This is a really, really fast way to do this. So I've got a log open here that I've got uh, set to mass airflow. So all I'm going to do at this point, I'm not even going to care about what's in the log or look at it. I'm just going to go into my preset maps. I'm going to load the calibration file for it. Okay. This is just asking what axis I'm using for my VE map, even though it's set to mass air. So I use TPS. I'm going to set that. Then it's going to pop open our little calibrated maps windows. Then down here, I can select our predefined maps. So I'm not going to do a VE calibration. I'm going to do a map frequency. This is a GM car, so it's going to be a map frequency. So I'm going to connect, click on that. It's going to set my, my faults here. I'm going to make sure that these are set the way I want. Um, in this particular instance, I'm going to do a map is less than minus 7. So desal won't uh, adjust my math curve. So I'm just going to filter out these settings here. I'm going to hit calculate. And then you're going to see it's going to show this dotted line is how I had the curve set. And this new line here is how I have, uh, how the computer's telling me I need to have it set. So rather than powering through this log and going to each point in the, in the mass airflow curve and figuring out what my difference is in air fuel and trying to calculate it, this does all of that for us. So it's basically telling me that my reference table, my current table, is set to 355 grams a second at this point, and it needs to be 372 to hit my air fuel targets. So it does that automatically. Another feature that we can do is we can do a filter here. Now these are for the, the 3D table, so we're not going to use those, but we can keep the peaks, or we can do no peaks. So this is probably an erroneous thing based on some other, you know, throttle movement, obviously the mass airflow sensor is not going to need a bunch of fuel here and then a higher flow rate need less flow, unless maybe the air was stalling or something weird is going on here, but that's not the case here. So I'm just going to select no peaks and hit calculate and it's going to smooth that right out. And I can do that as many times as I feel to make that smooth, but this is, I can go in and correct that, you know, when I paste that in to the software or I can just hit calculate again and it'll smooth it out a little bit more. So that's probably more realistic. Now again as I scroll through here it's going to tell me the number of samples that I've got. I've got it filtered out for five here which is a pretty small filter. Mass airflow sensor you don't need as much filtering as far as samples to get to get it right. So as you can see as I scroll through here it tells me when I get to points in the map where it's doesn't have any sample rate. So up here I never got this high in the flow rate of the mass airflow. So down here, we're hitting 13. So that one's actually pretty close already. 22 down here, and then 8. So this little bubble right down here, and then again, we're going to get back down here. There's not as many samples. Some of that's getting filtered out. So like this little dip right here, you probably want to bring that up when you when you calibrate it, when you drop it in the map, which is what we're going to do now. So now that I've got this curve, I'm going to hit Copy to Map. This tells me it's on the clipboard. Then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to open up the the ProEFI software, drop that into the background, go into math frequency, click on this table, go all control V, now you just saw these change. So it automatically dropped my changes in, then I'm just going to save it, and once that's done, I go back to the car, drop that in there, and go drive it again. And all those points that the software's told me were off, the next time I open the log, they're going to be back on. So this will all be corrected, and if I get to different ports of the mass airflow curve, it'll give me those calculations as well. But I literally, as you can see, this log was, you know, a 20 minute drive, 15, 20 minute drive with all this data. Rather than pouring through all that data, we just instantly got that done, and I didn't have to look at any part of this log. So. These, these tools, you can create custom maps to do that for, again, idle control, boost control, whatever you want. Uh, it's, it's a very powerful tool.